Easy peeps and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How are we all? Let's wrap up this weekend's Foo Champions, shall we? We're going to pick it up on 13 wins. We're only going to play till gold two. Now, yesterday, obviously I recorded it at a certain time and it was looking like... Uh, Danny Ings and probably Jesus were going to be the best players in this week's team of the week. Then, Messi went and did a madness, so he looks like we're probably going to get Messi in the team of the week. Uh, Werner, probably not. Um, who's the other one? Somebody else crazy, I can't remember off the top of my head. But now, it's shaping up to be that this team of the week, if they do put Messi in and whoever the other one was, which I can't remember at the moment, it's probably going to be a pretty mad team of the week. And you know the week after they're going to do a mad team of the week because it's going into the Christmas period, but this team of the week will be the team of the week that is available on Christmas Day. So knowing how EA are EA, they will probably juice it up a little bit as well to try and get those FIFA points Christmas Day monies. You know they will try and do that. But we are going to steadfast stay to what we believed in. We're going to stick with gold two, stroke gold one for the next three weeks to see out the year. Because honestly, I've actually enjoyed this weekend. I, I've had no stress whatsoever. We've won a few games. We've lost a few games. I got to 16 and then I kind of took it easy a little bit. And I lost like a couple in a row here and there, and I was, like, I was like, oh god. And then it become a grind just to get to 17. It become a little bit of a grind. Once we was on 16, my mind had already like gone to the fact that we'd finish weekend league. But we do manage eventually to get to the 17 wins. But first, before we get to the end of that, let's wrap up and show you a few of the games that we actually played in the last batch. So this video will show you the four wins. We've got 4-3 here, and then we get a lucky penalty, honestly. It was it was a little bit of a lucky penalty, but we managed to seal the deal to make it 5-3. In this game here, beautiful team. Um Titi and Kampembe, but he has Lala. So straight away, I know that Lala isn't going to sit deep. See what I'm saying? Looking at Alonso, having Alonso. I know that even with the upgrade, Alonso isn't very quick. So with Sterling, we know we can run past Alonso. And with Lala, I know that I can try and put balls in behind to try and feed Hazard. And that's what I was talking about with my choices of left back, right backs. Now, like I've said before, it all depends on your formation. The way that we rock the 4-1-2-1-2, we don't want left backs and right backs bombing up and down the wing. We want them to sit quite low. If we was playing a 4-3-3, we 100% want the left back and the right back to bomb up and down because that then gets the width in midfield but we're not we've already got the width in midfield thanks to the 4-1-2-1-2 so we really want our left backs to stay where we are but if we're playing a 4-3-3 or some kind of variation like that obviously having a good left back like Sandro, Marcelo, stuff like that, Robertson overlapping your left winger that works absolutely perfectly, but it's not what we want for this formation. So we go 4-2 in this game. Honestly, we didn't play amazing this weekend. It started off a little bit shoddy, but we get the win on that one. And then we head into our last game that we're going to show you. And he's got a pretty decent team. But then I see Tortilla and I think, right, Tortilla can't jump. So... He's going to try and buzz around with Tortilla and try and make as many like biting at your ankles tackles as possible. But I didn't think Tortilla was that good. So we know that we can manipulate and pass past Tortilla or just think balls over because he won't ever be able to head a ball. And that's the beauty of doing some of these cards is you get to understand how they will react when your opponent gets them. And that's kind of the beauty with Footmas. I know we've only done one Footmas card so far. And we'll see what last night's drops are after we've gone and done this. We've also got our squad battles rewards to open as well. Um, but the beauty of doing some of these cards is even if you don't actually use them, 
long term. If you use them in the short term, you then get to know how they play. So when you come up and face against them, you know exactly how their mannerisms are going to act when they're controlled by the AI. So that's probably the only plus of doing some of these SBC cards. So this is our last game we're going to show you. We go 4-1 up. So the Tortilla couldn't stop our amazing attack. Not bad at all, boys. Not bad at all. Um, 65th minute. Nice little bit of passing around here and there. Takes it to the 68th minute, give or take. And Aubameyang gets another one to make it 5-1 on the score sheet. And that's enough for your man to get himself out of here. Goodbye. Thank you very much. That is the weekend league done. And as promised, we finished on goal two. We had five matches left. So we, we did lose a few along the way. So we ended up going, what, 17 and 8. Is that right? Yeah, 17 and 8. But we started off at 4 and 4. So these beautiful Footmas SBCs as well means we've managed to somehow sell PK for 45,000 coins. I'm not too sure what SBC that was one was for or whatever. But 45,000 coins for PK, we will take it. And then we have also treated ourselves a little bit as well. But I'll show you that later on in the week. So squad battles rewards. We get one mega pack, two premium gold players packs and 12 thousand coins so we have got a treat in the club we've got a new player that we've added just more of an upgrade really nothing nothing exceptional and we're on nearly 1.4 million coins and we've also got our pre-order packs so let's jump straight into those shall we nothing amazing in this one after these pre-order packs we shall go live and have a look at last night's footmas sbc drops and see if we are actually going to do any of those rubbish pack in that one not very good at all we get a gold pack unlock another pre-order pack again like i've said every single week we haven't got much from these pre-order packs we don't get anything from that one either um not too sure where we are i know i said it the last couple of weeks we've got to be coming to the end of these now but it's going to make me think long and hard about the next fifa whether it's actually worth doing it for these pre-order packs or not I know you get the three days early access with the Ultimate Edition, but you don't get anything from these pre-order packs, man. They're just they're just not very good whatsoever. You'd be better off taking that 12,000 point equivalent and saving that 12,000 points and opening 12,000 points at a decent promo like Chinese New Year or something like that. Uh, right then, this pack, do we get anything decent in this one? We can't get a good player in that. We can get a board though. So that's not bad. Portuguese goalkeeper, 84 rated Lopez. Not bad at all. He is a duplicate, but it's another 84 that will help with if we actually manage to do another Footmas SBC. Please bring out Son. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if they brought out a Son? Ooh, ooh. Premium goal players pack. Can we get anything decent in this one? We can't, unfortunately. So we're yet to get anything above 86. Of course, our highest rated player so far is an 84. A few duplicates on that, which we'll store on the trade pile. Premium gold players pack again. Can we get anything decent in this one? Nope. Can we get better than an 84? Nope. We can't get any boards in that one either. So that's a bit trash. So now we are left with a mega pack from our squad battles rewards. So is it worth it? Can we get something good out of this mega pack? Come on EA, 86 rated plus. Hit me with, oh, just hit me. Can we get boards? We can't even get boards on that mega pack. So that's unfortunate. Right then, shall we head over, go live and see about the latest Footmas SBC? Right then, we are back live let's have a look at the new footmas sbcs that have dropped shall we first up iniesta okay okay 88 rated what what do we need for that it's three spain 84 84 rated squad for an 88 rated player isn't actually too bad however i don't think that's going to be much of a boost from his 87 is it don't think that's going to be much of a boost. Look at that, man. Just plus ones, plus two on dribbling. But because of his league, he isn't the greatest league, right? Why can't they just boost up a stat so he's actually usable? If people want to try and figure a way to get Iniesta in, 
the, you know, the easiest way of doing it is be surrounded by icons anyway. So if they've got like nine icons surrounded by Iniesta, they deserve to have an over over P like Iniesta in the club anyway. Do you know what I mean? There's not many people that are then gonna go right. So this this Iniesta with his uh, 55 stamina, <laughs> right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a J League team. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do some Vassal Kobe players and then we'll just stick Pele up top or something. Just please, man. They, they, they should definitely boost that. But if you've got loads of 84 untradeables, I suppose swapping it out for an 88 untradeable for another SBC, not too bad, I suppose. Next up, Mario Balotelli. Okay, what do we need for that? Foot Champions player is good. If you haven't got any Foot Champions players, team of the week player with an 84 rated squad. So that seems quite high. Uh, let's have a look at Balotelli. Balo. Balo. Is it one out? Is it one out? I'm going to go with the one out. Yeah, boy. Right. So he's got the he's got the 94 screen card. Right. So even if the screen card then drops from the pace... If that's how they're doing it. Does anybody even understand what's happening with this screen promo anymore? But there's, see, there's you know, a little bit of physicality. There's just not much difference, is that? And his screen card is 80k. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Uh, and then, ooh, a Kanji, 82 rated, 84 pace. He looks pretty beast. If you're rocking a Bundesliga team, he looks very, very good. So a Kanji needs an 85 rated squad. <laughs> I mean, you, you can see, you can see their thinking, right? They're thinking 84 pace, 82 defense, 81 physical. That is a meta Bundesliga centre back. That that's their thinking, right? However, expecting you to pay an 85 rated squad for an 82 untradeable card is just nuts. Absolutely nuts. That's crazy times, man. Absolutely crazy times. But you can see why they've done it. They've thought, right, the people that have got Royces are going to want to do this. And they're just trying to rinse more and more coins. And it's all based on that pace stat. It is literally all based on that pace stat because they'll think, right, he's like Varane, 84 pace, blah, 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 blah. Just, just no, right? So we won't be doing any of these three again, unfortunately. And I think this is the worst set we've had so far. I think all three of these are just no good. Iniesta's a good rating for what you have to submit 88 for an 84, but he's an unusable card thanks to his stamina, his pace, and his league. Balotelli, you're probably better off getting a screen card for the upgrades that you get. Remember, you're going to pump all that money in for an untradeable card. And this one, GG if you're rocking a Bundesliga team and you have a shed load of untradeables and you think he will fit perfectly because that's probably an end-game Bundesliga centre-back. However, if you just want to try it and he's a, you know, an, an okay-ish card for you, trying to rock an 85 team for an 82 card, that's not... I'm more on the fence. The more I think about that, I'm on the fence with that one. I don't know. 85 initially seems high. However, if you rock a Bundesliga team, that's going to be your end centre-back. So is it worth it? I, I don't know. And I'm not too sure how slow centre-backs are in, are in the Bundesliga because we don't rock them. So anyway, let me know what you think about the Akanji. Are you going to do it? Do you rock a Bundesliga team? Do you think it's worth an 85 rated squad? Right then, my friends, that is it. We are out of here. If you have stumbled across the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you could hit a thumbs up on the video as well, it'd be greatly appreciated. The thumbs up and the likes have dipped down slightly. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. But for now, my friends, we are out of here. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.